Okay. And we're back. Um, left off with the pauldron here, getting some reflective properties in. And uh, getting our, our highlights in. Just trying to figure out how this lighting is going to interact with the environment. And it is, you know, it's, it's, hmm, that doesn't look right. Um, it's tricky. Uh, again, just looking at references too, uh, sometimes that doesn't do the trick. Uh, you really kind of have to get scientific and think about these qualities and where these surfaces are reflecting and, uh, you know, you have to kind of account for reflect, uh, my goodness. What's the word? Oh dear. Somebody's watching and being like, this word, this word. Um, <laughs> I can't think of it. This is, this is awful. Um, oh boy. Yeah, this is rough. Anyway, um, going back into armor and how reflective it is it's reflective yes we all know this metal tends to reflect surfaces to some degree um, and me I'm trying to kind of grasp in this environment how this metal surface is interacting with um, the space around it it seems to be going all right so far, but again, there are a lot of variables that you have to account for when it comes to this kind of uh, this kind of surface. That's why I love this type of surface. It's just because it's so spontaneous and um, it's not going to be the same each time. That could be said for a lot of things, but especially for reflective properties like metal. Um, they're very circumstantial. You're going to have things that don't make sense in some regards, but make complete sense uh, in other scenarios. Um, so I'm trying to kind of replicate that almost confusion that when you look at metal, it's like, where where is all this reflective light coming from? Or why is it reflecting this particular thing in this surface? Um, that's very much a hard thing to replicate and hopefully it's something that I can achieve on this, uh, on this painting because it does, uh, this, this armor is, is important to this piece. Um, okay. I might have to darken this edge up here just a little bit, just enough to get some some uh, separation so that we can see um, that this plane is different from this plane and you know what I'm actually gonna dull this highlight a little bit because that's catching uh, the light from this side and not from this side if it were catching it from this side um, it would be a lot harder and then you have this reflective property here that is possibly catching some of this light, but you know, probably not as strong and it is reflecting. I'm actually gonna dull that down a little bit more too because that's gonna actually reflect back into this part of the surface as well. But I'm not gonna make it too, too heavy. So we still have some really nice um, dark darks. Um, you know, some of them can get like snuffed out because of the uh, because of the the qualities that you have with either the lighting um, and where it's where it's located and where that light source is coming from but in this case it's nice to see that there are still some dark darks um, some of them don't seem to make a whole lot of sense so I uh, there might be some toning down there. Um, 
might just have to soften this up a little bit too. Get a nice hard, oops, dang it. There we go. Mm. Huh. Yeah, this surface would definitely have a lot more of a lighter tone because this is catching that light in the back. Not entirely sure, like his helmet has a nice little ridge there. Maybe we can go ahead and put a suggestion of, of, of a ridge uh, on his pauldron as well. Maybe it kind of, um, like gothic armor, where there's a lot of um, extravagant folds and patterns. Uh, I'll try to see if that would make sense in this light. Is there some dec decor, some armor decor? Maybe this rhino is, you know, higher in status, so he has um, a bit nicer of of a set. Okay, yeah, it's a bit like it's like frilled. Um, that's kind of nice. I always like seeing rivets too. Um, Oops, which I will go ahead and place as well because, you know, we need to have some kind of suggestion of how this, um, this other piece here, this other layered piece is being held together and how that's, um, you know, a part of the same piece of armor. So the rivets, to me, they kind of, you know, give the excuse, like, yeah, it's riveted together. <laughs> saves our brain from having to, uh, to conceptualize a whole whole lot um, not to say that I don't enjoy that I love doing that but for the sake of time and for your uh, for your sanity uh, we'll, we'll we'll keep this simple I don't want to bore you Okay, those highlights look a bit too sharp, so we are going to go ahead and just uh, dull those down a bit. Cool. Put that rivet there. Alrighty. Um, you know, that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um... So this would kind of wrap around here. I am going to further this, uh, this plane and have it actually kind of wrap back around to the backside here. And that's going to change this plane though. So we're gonna have to kind of, uh, we're gonna have to accommodate for, for this shift in value, so. Um, oops, I'm going to have to drop my brush size down just a bit. So this edge right here is probably going to catch a lot of that incoming direct light. So that's going to be a nice, sharp highlight. Um, that's going to fold back in. So, oops, we're going to have to cut it off relatively relatively early. Um, I'm going to give it just a bit more there. This is going to cast a bit of a shadow on this end here. So this quality, this reflective quality is probably going to diminish and not have as much. It's still going to have some because there's some reflective light bouncing, bouncing around. Uh, 
but it very much isn't going to be very strong. And we're going to see that in here because again, this surface is catching a lot of this light here. This is probably going to stay darker. Um, actually, you know what? No, that's that's probably going to catch quite a bit of light too. So again, just a lot of push-pull. Um, once it gets towards the end here, it is going to be in the light a lot more. Boy, my brush was at 100% sharp. It's probably not what I'd like for this kind of uh, rendering project. Okay, let's take a step back, take a look, see what we got. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to darken it just a bit over in here. Cool. I mean, that's quite impressive for a rhino to make this intricate of a, of a piece. Um, from what I've seen online, making like armor smithing is just—it's a lot of work. It's really cool work, though, but it's work. I don't think I could ever see myself being able to accomplish that kind of task. Um, but I'm glad that there's still people who are capable of making making armor and. Uh, very good at it. Okay. Pretty good. Um, you know, not as flushed out as, you know, other professional works are, but, you know, this is for my, this is for Micah. Uh, he's not a triple-A game studio CEO. At least not yet. Maybe he'll maybe he'll become one in the future. And maybe he can hire me. <laughs> um, so I'm not terribly concerned about its polish. Um, I, I would like to work a lot harder on being able to accomplish a higher quality... Um, higher quality results, but, you know, we're going to have to take it one step at a time. Can't do everything at once. This uh, past couple of weeks, I've been really feeling um, burnt out and had a couple of nice days where I could just relax, so that was really nice. Um, going to be weird looking back at before I was married because that wedding is coming up and I'm ready okay okay that's that seems to be a good spot for that pauldron um, we're going to leave it we're going to go ahead and uh, work on something else here if need be, we'll probably have to come back and do some minor adjustments and help um, really make it a convincing, convincing surface and a convincing pauldron. Um, so how is this pauldron going to be attached to his chest piece here? Um, is it a separate, separate entity? Is it a separate piece from his, um, from his chest? Uh, I do see that a lot. I mean, obviously it is, but sometimes in some manner it is attached to the uh, the chest chest piece. I think I might keep it as um, a separate component and um, kind of work on the intricacies of the chest plate. So we're on the theme of ridges, so I'm thinking that's something that will want to create for our very nice rhino gentleman here. 
and some nice ridges. Okay, so this definitely isn't going to be catching a lot of light. So I am going to keep it a bit duller. Um, there's going to be a shadow here from his pauldron onto his... Actually, would there be? There would. I mean, it's going to be darker, but it's not going to be a drastic cast shadow. ridges are definitely going to be a prominent feature in this piece so um, within those ridges there's going to be some pretty extreme changes of value ridges are tricky because um, they're triangular shaped so they're catching light on either side uh, some being sharper than others and the other side being not as sharp. That looks a bit too sharp, so I'm gonna dull it down just a just a shade. Cool. Pull this valley up just a little bit. There we go. Um, that perspective doesn't seem quite right, so I'm actually going to push this edge over it a little bit. And what I'm thinking um, is that these ridges are going to kind of make... Yeah, okay, that seems seems pretty good. I'm gonna actually have to fill this space in. Oops. Just a tad. Because I don't think we'd be getting that extreme dark in that area. Maybe on this side, actually. So I'm actually gonna hit that with some pretty dark dark. Not so much on this side. There's some reflective uh, metals on that side. It's probably gonna be a bit of an extreme value on this side here. Um, then I have to replicate the ridge on this side that was opposing it, so we'll go over here and get that in. Okay, cool. He looks very fancy now. He's a fancy man. Or, I, no, he's not a man. You know what I mean. Oh yeah, that's right. He's a rhino, so he's gonna have to have he's gonna have to get his horns back at some point. I'm probably going to decorate them in some fashion. Excited to see what Micah thinks of the uh, the final product if it's a convincing armored rhino or not. We will have to find out. All right, cool. So I'm gonna actually, once again, kind of push it, push the values here, because there is, um, you know, his head's right there. It's definitely gonna be blocking some of that light and some of those reflective qualities in the armor or in his chest piece. There are uh, going to be some parts of his chest here that are exposed and that do see um, the light of day here. That doesn't look right. That looks too, too cliche. Oops. Oh dear. Oh dear. What have I done? Forgive me. Forgive me. I don't know. I mean, I guess I could look at the um, shortcut key, but hey, um, I did it. 
we got it back. So that ridge here is probably going to catch a fair amount of light. And if anything, it might give enough of a reflective property that the, the top part here is actually also going to catch it. Um, but that's it. And then this edge of the armor is taking direct sunlight from from that bit there. Um, yeah, okay. That looks that looks all right. But there is something that's bothering me, this little edge here. Oh yeah, that's right. Cuz this this edge here and then this is going to be darker on this side and then just a bit lighter over here because there's that reflective light coming back from over here I might actually hit this edge up just a little tad nope nope stop just a tad um, help give it some some more form okay come on Okay, I mean, perspectively why it's it's definitely, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, no, we gotta change that. That's got to go. See, this is the importance of having a good foundation. Um, this kind of work is unscripted, so there's the, you know you kind of just jump in and do it. Um, so there really isn't a whole lot of time to get a good structure or base in before you start. Um, but, you know, that's, this seems like a good spot to take a break. I'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, just see you guys in the next one. We'll keep plugging away at the, uh, the next part. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the future. And uh, yeah, take care. Thanks.